In this lesson, we are going to learn how to divide a polynomial by a monomial. Now, what does that even mean? Well, for example, we're going to be looking at questions like this, where you have like 3x to the power of 3, take away 6x squared, take away 9x, take away 12. And we're going to divide all of that by, let's say, 3x, for example. And so what you would do is you'd say like 3x to the power of 3, take away 6x squared, take away 9x, take away 12, and then you're going to divide that by 3x. So you're going to write it like that. What I would then do is I would split all of it up. So you'd split it up like this. 3x to the power of 3 over 3x, take away 6x to the power of 2 over 3x, take away 9x over 3x, take away 12 over 3x. And then you would just go simplify each part. So for example, you would have to look at these x's over here and somehow cancel them out. And so you'd end up with, well, the threes would actually cancel. So we'd cancel out the threes and you'd end up with x squared. Then over here, you would have six divided by three, which is two, and then x squared divided by x. Well, that's just gonna give us x. And then nine divided by three is three. The x's would cancel. And then here, this is an interesting one. 12 divided by three is four but then there's still gonna be one X at the bottom. So you'd write your answer like that. And so for the rest of this lesson, we're just gonna practice a couple different types of these questions. So here's our first one. So what you, or here's our first example. So what you would do um, is you would write it like this. And then at the bottom, you would say 4K to the power of three. And then we would split it up into 4K to the power of three over 4K to the power of three plus 2k to the power of 2 over 4k to the power of 3, plus 4k over 4k to the power of 3. So for the first part, everything would cancel. So remember that when everything cancels, you would still be left with a 1. And then for the next part, 2 goes into itself once, 2 goes into four two times. So you're going to have 1 over 2, and then if you have two k's at the top and three k's at the bottom, then the way that they would cancel is that you would have one k left over at the bottom. So you could write your answer as one over two k. And then for this next, or this last part, the fours would cancel out. And then, so if, you, if your fours cancel out, then there's nothing, well, let's look at the k's. There's one k at the top and three k's at the bottom. So you would be left with two k's at the bottom. And then if there's nothing left over at the top, then you can just fill in a one. And so that would be the final answer for that one. Here's our next example. So you're gonna go ahead and write it out like this. Okay, and then we'd split it up. You could even skip that step and just split it up immediately. and now we just go cancel. So if you have x4 at the top and x2 at the bottom, that's gonna give you x2. And then here you're just gonna be left with a two. And then here, if you cancel out x3 and x2, you're gonna be left with x, and then there's a two. And then if you have x2 divided by x2, well that just becomes a one. So for this example, I'm just gonna go straight into the one step where we do it like that. Now, two and five cannot cancel, so we'll leave that like that. The p's are gonna cancel out completely, and so we'll be left with two over five. Here we have a five and a five, which would cancel, and then here we have a p2 at the top and a p3 at the bottom, so you'd be left with a p at the bottom, like that. And then for the next part, you would have 10 divided by five, which is two. And then if you have a p, one p at the top, and P, three P's at the bottom, that when they cancel, you'd be left with two P's at the bottom. So there would be the answer for that one. And then our last example, so we'll write it as two X to the power of three over, whoops, over two X, plus two X to the power of two over two X, plus four X over two X. And then if everything cancels out, over here your two and your two would cancel, and then you'd have three x's at the top, one x at the bottom, so you'd be left with x to the power of two. And then for this part over here, the twos would cancel, and then, you and then you'd be left with an x, because there's two x's at the top, one x at the bottom, so you'd be left with one x at the top. And then here the x's would cancel, but then four divided by two is two, and there's our final answer.